so it's everywhere. Okay, so midnight's just gone. And yeah, I'm feeling sad and lonely now. But we've had such an amazing weekend. You know, it's been epic. The guest at the convention was so, so nice. And I think next to the Team Love cast, the Shadow Hunter cast has been the nicest ones yet. Um, along, along with Supernatural, Teen Wolf, you know, uh, Lost Girl. They've just been brilliant, you know, it's just been an awesome weekend and yeah. Uh, can't wait for the next one, whenever that is. Uh, I don't think I've got any more cons now till towards the end of the year. Well, no three day ones. Probably got LFCC, Manchester Comic Con, Wing Comic Con, you know. But, yeah. We, I, we actually need a day when we can catch up with Ali as well and just chill out to a movie night and maybe some my eyes things like that so anyway um probably going to go to the artistic club tonight so I've not been for two weeks not because my mental health or anything but it's just that there weren't things that I could afford to do at the time or one um didn't really catch what I wanted to do. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, so I've just got back from the artist mob and I actually now feel really, really, really tired. And my ear it's just to hurt. I think I'm getting my yearly ear infection. Um, ow. And yeah, I'm, I think my ear fever's decided to come play. Um, I'm getting a bit sniffly. And I just feel really, 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 really yucky. Um, but I did get some good news, um, I can't remember if I actually said in the video yesterday, but before we left London, um, to come home from Forsaken, there was an incident where that caused me to have a artistic meltdown, and um, basically, in the morning, me and Midnight got our bags, took them downstairs to the concierge's room at the hotel where we were staying, and the concierge separated our bags, put Midnight at one side, put mine on the other, and he just gave us one ticket, and we said to the guy, you've only given us one ticket, he said, oh no, it's fine, New York. Because you're both together, you only need for one ticket. So we thought, okay. Um, we walked into the talk, did what we were doing that day fossil shoots, coffee lounges, talks, blah, blah, blah. And then at the end of the convention, we went to get our bags. And the concierge was a different concierge. We went into, he let us in the room, collect our bags. Well, I went in, Midnight was talking to someone. So I went into the concierge's room, got the, um, gave him the ticket. He started pulling Midnight's bag out and goes, um, there you go. I said, he asked, I'm just going to get these other ones. And he says, no, no, you've only given me one ticket. And I was like, no, we was told we didn't need another ticket. 
And the guy was like, no, 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 those aren't your bags. I said, yes, they are. Um, they are my bags. I said, the concierge said, I didn't need another ticket. And the guy was like, you, he must have given you another ticket. And I was like, no, seriously, he did not give us another ticket. It was just the one. I'm going to sit back a little minute. It was just the one ticket. And he says going on, um, you have to wait in this room, I'm going to go get my ma my manager, my boss. And he walked out the room. So, it, sorry, it was going on and on and on, um, saying like, they're not your bags, they're not your bags. And that's when he said, um, yeah, sorry, I was like, first time to see, I'm not over, I'm feeling bleh. Um, he goes, I'm going to go and get my manager. And he walked out. Just as he was walking out, I started screaming hysterically. I I went into meltdown mode. Um he goes he just turned around and said, I'm I'm doing my job, I'm I'll go I'm going for the manager. And he walked off. So I got the bags that was mine. And what's up the room? At this point, I see midnight, and I'm screaming, midnight, midnight, midnight. And she turns around, she comes running on, and she's like, what the hell? So I said, he won't let me have my bags, he won't let me have my bags. And a couple of other people I was friends with came over, and the concierge came back, he said, I said, stay in there, uh, those aren't your bags. And midnight goes, mate, what are you talking about? They are, they are bags. And he said, no, no, she's no ticket for them. And the guy, uh, Midnight goes, yes, we was only given one ticket we didn't need. We was told because we were friends, we were together, we only needed the one ticket. The guy just separated them. Separated the bag and put one on one side of the room because she has a laptop in it and a couple of breakables, so she asked him to put them um, to one side. And the guy was like, no, 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 he wouldn't have done that, wouldn't have done that. So, I'm getting more and more worked up and upset. Me and that goes, dude, look, she's autistic. She's, you can't keep speaking to her like that. You can't keep repeating yourself because she's just, she'll get more worked up, more upset. And the guy just kept saying, but I'm just doing my job, I'm just doing my job. And me like, was like, yeah, we appreciate that, but please stop repeating things over and over because you're going to get it even more worked up, which was true. I, I was, I was getting really, really round up at this point. And then, uh, I think we got one of the guys, one of the concierge guys was French, because he said the other concierge said, um, go find the bot. And the concierge was like, I can't, I can't do it. I'm, I'm busy. And next thing, the manager walked over. And I think the manager was French, Italian, something like that. Actually, I think, funnily, I think the concierge, he would be nice, it was English. Oh, I, I can't actually remember much about him. Um, it was of a descent, but... I don't know. I just remember his accent being Englishy. Um, manager said, "I so upset. I was like, um, can I help you? What's going on?" So midnight turned to the manager and she explained to look, she's autistic, and she's you know like she, we was told we only needed one ticket. Um, we asked the concierge to put this this rucksack to one side because if anything got run over it or dropped on it, it, it would be a laptop. And the manager was like, right, okay, what's the problem? And the concierge goes, she has, she's not got a ticket, she's not got a ticket. And the manager was like, They've just told you that the concierge gave them one ticket. 
and the guy was still saying, I'm just doing my job. And the manager just said, you come with me. And I think he said something like, you know, like, I don't know what, what I'm said, but he came back up and said, I, I apologise about that for getting you so upset and worked up. Um, he came over and just gave me a couple of bottles of water. Uh, but he, he was lovely, and I'm sure uh, the other concierge um, is a lovely person. You know, I'm sure uh, he's a really nice guy and everything. But I think he could do some train, could do with some training in autism awareness. <sighs> but yeah, anyway, um, I may I did put a complaint in, which I feel really really bad about because. Um, I don't like complaining unless I really have to, um, but it was something I did have to put this complaint in. Uh, but yeah, after that I woke up this morning and I had an email, of this afternoon, and I had an email from the hotel, of the chain of hotels. And basically like saying sorry for what happened and we will investigate it. So I don't want the guy to get sacked or anything like that. I just hope that um, they give him some training or something or um, we just get to kind of like um, if somebody tells you they're autistic, they are autistic. You know, it was obvious that I had it, it's not obvious that I have learning disabilities or a kind um, I call it an invisible disability because you know you watch my videos I'm smiley I'm happy I'm really chatty but at the same time you don't know you don't realize that I'm autistic so if I'm stood in the middle of the room, jumping up and down, screaming, crying my eyes out, telling you I am autistic, then I'm autistic. So, but yeah, I don't want the guy to get fired, I don't want him to get sacked or anything like that. I just thought we'd give him some training or something like that. Anyway, I'm going to go and try and get some sleep and also I feel a little bit better tomorrow. It's not my mental health and, and all that. I, I, I am feeling a little bit down and like calm blues and, you know, it's like I said on my live video before and um, I finally figured out how to do live videos on YouTube. So as of tomorrow, um, I'll videos about mental health will be at 10 o'clock and will be live streamed. Um, I'm just considering doing it on Facebook as well. Um, but we'll see about that. Um, but yeah. Anyway, for now, I'm saying love you lots and lots like jelly tots and I'm keeping rigging weird. Bye.